everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily and today I am joined by my little guy Newton. Today Newton will be helping me pick my TBR for Bingo-a-thon. So basically for each of the Bingo-a-thon prompts I have chosen three books and what I will be doing, okay you can come down there, what I'll be doing is um, making the books into like a sort of tent, if you will, and putting a mealworm inside each one and then seeing which one he goes to first. So I made this little uh, chart in my bullet journal for Bingo-a-thon, so I've written the group read, which is once in future, in the middle, and then as I go along I will just write in each prompt. So the first prompt is an anticipated read. The three books that I've chosen for Anticipated Read are The Nowhere Girls, this is by Amy Reed. I don't know much about this book, but I know Books and Lala read it and uh, talked about it, and I've heard that it has good autism reps, so I'm excited about that one. Sadie by Courtney Summers. This one, I loved Courtney Summers' first book, and I got this one in a box, and I've heard nothing but good stuff about it, so I'm super hyped. And Little White Lies, this is by Jennifer Lynn Barnes, who I absolutely adore, so I am so stoked for this. So the book that Newton chose is Sadie by Courtney Summers, and I will be reading this one for Anticipated Read. So the next prompt is Five Star Prediction. For this one I've chosen Stars Above by Marissa Meyer. Uh, I absolutely love the Lunar Chronicles, I just finished Winter and it was a five star read. So this is like a collection of short stories. Soundless by Rochelle Mead, she wrote the um, Vampire Academy and the Bloodline series and I absolutely love her writing. I also read um, The Glittering Court by her and it was five stars so I expect nothing less. And Blanca Yiroha by Anna Marie McLemore. This one is, um, I think it's a Swan Lake retelling. I love Anna Marie McLemore's writing. Uh, she wrote Wild Beauty, which I got in an owl crate, and it was, I believe, a five star read. I loved it so much, so I think I'm gonna adore this. chose Stars Above by Marissa Meyer, which I'm really excited about. This one was also in the middle, so I'm gonna put him, like, try putting him on the sides to see if that'll change his mind. I don't know, I don't want it to be biased, but also, like, he's a hedgehog and he doesn't, he just follows his little nose, right? So, um, I don't really know how else to do it. Maybe if I put them in more of a circle, then he might, I don't know. Um, I'm so excited. The next prompt was favorite genre, so I chose um, thriller, and I've got a mixture of thrillers today. I have a middle grade thriller, and that is Jolly Foul Play by Robin Stevens. I got this, um, I talk about it in my April haul video, but I love this series so much. There's Someone Inside Your House by Stephanie Perkins. This is a young adult thriller. And A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn. This is an adult thriller. Newton chose A Curious Beginning by Deanna Rayburn, and this is such a beautiful book. It's been on my shelf for so long I forgot how pretty the cover is. Um, I don't remember what it's about at all, so I'm going to read it quickly. It seems kind of like an adult version of Stalking Jack the Ripper, except without the Jack the Ripper plotline, just kind of like a girl that's really into science, and then there's a man and there's a mystery. Um, I'm excited! For this next round, I'm going to try doing it without the worms because Newton seemed quite interested in just running into the book. So I'm going to see if we can do it without the worms because they are a treat for him and I don't want him eating a ton. The next prompt was to read a book with pink or blue on the cover. So all of the books that I chose have both pink and blue on the cover. We have Under Rose Tainted Skies by Louise Gornall, 100 Days of Cake by Sherry Goldhagen, and Love to Split the World by Emily Henry.
did pick one, so that's good to know that I can do it without the worms, just so that he won't have too many, like, snacks. And he picked Love That Split the World by Emily Henry. The next prompt is to read a book with some diverse rap. For this one I have We Crossed a Bridge and It Trembled. This is a story um, about different Syrian refugees. It says Voices from Syria. So I got this in a Life's Library and I think it'll be a really impactful read. Isabella Lende's The House of the Spirits. I also got this one in a Life's Library and it is by a Chilean author. Um, I think this one's gonna be really good as well. It kind of follows a family which I'm really interested in. And They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. This one has uh, two gay main characters. Newton shows They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I'm really excited to read this one. I've been excited to read it since I picked it up, so I'm really glad that I'm finally going to be reading it. The next prompt was Cover By, and boy do I have a lot of those. The three that Newton will be picking between are Cruel by Jennifer Albin. I bought this one at my school. The Loose Ends List by Carrie Firestone. I got this one off Book Outlet. And The Grave Keepers by Elizabeth Byrne. I got this one at my local grocery store. interesting because he kind of like sniffed them all before he decided which one he wanted but he went inside of the loose ends list so that is the one we are going to go with. I don't really know what this book is about but I kind of in my mind when I bought this I was thinking of a semi-definitive list of worst nightmares which was one of my favorite books of 2018 so if this is anything like that which it is in my mind but I don't know if it is in reality I will love it. This next prompt is a new to me author. We have Dragon Pearl by Yoon Ha Lee. I got this as an ARC when I went to an E.K. Johnston signing. The Conspiracy of Us by Maggie Hall. This was in my book outlet haul. And The Mystery of Hollow Places by Rebecca Potos, which was also in my book outlet haul. Newton shows The Mystery of Hollow Places by Rebecca Potos. I've been wanting to read this for a while, so thanks, Newt. For the last prompt, it was uh, newest or oldest books on your TBR. I decided to go with oldest books on my TBR. I have Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden, Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld, and Witches of East End by Melissa de la Cruz. That was the fastest we've seen him make a decision, and he chose Witches of East End, so I'll be reading that. So it looks like this is my TBR for Bingo-a-thon. Thank you so much for watching, and Newton, here's a worm. Thank you for helping me. Thank you so much, and we will see you in the next video.